talked with the network and kind of agreed together on it? was sort of a mutual decision with the network. Um, I knew that if the show kept going after season six, it was, six would have been my last season either way. Um, it's uh, partially time for me to do other creative endeavors. Uh, I actually thought that um, 520 was going to be the last episode and sort of wrote it like that and considered it that way and then the network said, no, we want, we want to go to 100. I said, all right, great. Um, it was a matter of getting the cast back together, uh, making sure that everybody still wanted to do more episodes, but uh, it's, uh, it's turned into this, this season, the first batch of episodes at, at the very least has turned into uh, some of our most emotional work, so it's kind of nice and gratifying that uh, it allowed us to do some more. Are you excited and happy that you are going to end on, because the 100th is going to serve as your final episode, right? Are yes. you kind of glad that that's going to be, you know, you go out, yeah. you hit the milestone, mm -hmm. and you're going to get to go out on top and on your own terms? It's a nice number to go out on, yeah. And we already sort of have a, a very good idea of how we're going to finish the series. Um, so uh, it's good to be able to do it that way. I, I would hate for us to wear out our, our, wear out our welcome too much. Um, or for people to just say, that show, that's it's still on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Although nothing's really on the air anymore. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Well, we've talked about possible character returns. Are there anyone that you can talk about that's coming back, or anyone that you'd love to be able to bring back to wrap up as the series you know, comes to an end? I wish I could confirm. But who would I love to bring back? Yeah. Let's see. I'd love to figure out a way to bring Haley Webb back. I love her. Um, I'd love for Colton Haynes to come back and yeah. join us for some more episodes, but uh, we'll see. These things always, uh, they're up to, they're more up to negotiations than you really want them to be. Um, old hard cash. <laughs> and Ian Bowen is coming back for sure, right? Yes, he is. Because Ian Bowen will be back. Um, who else? Uh, Jenna Bourne is back, I think you know that. Um, Frost players like um, Brett, played by Cody St. New, is coming back. Um, who else? Uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> we still have 10 episodes to shoot. There's a lot of people that have come and gone on the show. <laughs> yes, there are. <laughs> well, Oh, speaking of the lacrosse, somebody, a character that I see that's so surprising to me that people is was Danny. Yeah. That was a character people really got behind. Is that someone we might see or, or see uh, kind of? Probably not. He's on the originals now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kiabu Kakunui is on the originals, so uh, I'd be surprised if we saw him. Well, since you're the mastermind behind it all, what kind of spoil? Can you give us any teasers about spoilers, what fans can expect teasers? or anything? Hoping to kill a few people, <laughs> a few surprising deaths. <laughs> um, oh, Cody Christian will be back, but you guys knew that in the trailer. Um, let's see, what can I spoil? You're gonna learn Styles' is real first name. How's that? That's good. Oh, I already, good. I already told people that though. <laughs> You're not the first. Sorry. <laughs> um, what would you like me to spoil? Anything? Anything you haven't maybe put out there at any of the other tables? <laughs> We haven't shot that episode yet, so you never know what's going to end up in the cutting the floor. No spoilers here. <laughs> sad. Will you be sad? I sad. hope so. Will I be sad? Will the audience? I hope so. Yes, I hope the audience will feel real emotional, uh, wrenching, horrible feeling when it ends, <laughs> and go back and watch all of them again. Um, no, I think uh, I'd like for them to feel like it's a fitting end. Like, like these hundred episodes were just right. That it's uh, that it shouldn't have gone, shouldn't have ended any sooner, or shouldn't have gone on any further. Um, I always, I don't always have that opinion of TV shows I love. Um, like certain ones where you felt like this show ended, ended perfectly here, and then they did it for five more seasons. You know. <laughs> um, I mean, when do they jump a shark? Now, a lot of people don't know that Happy Days is a shark episode. They went on for something like seven more seasons after <laughs> jumping the shark. <laughs> um, and they were very, very popular. But uh, I hope that people have a great emotional release. We'll see. 
with just real quick, I know you mentioned Theo is coming back, and I'm curious because I did, you know, I was watching, I thought, you know, okay, this is the end for that character, and maybe it's pop up, but you talk about the process of just deciding to bring the character back. Was it more about just Cody's schedule opened up, or was it that you always had that in mind that you'd bring the character back in? Well, I had spoken to uh, Cody on set a while back, and I said, would you be up for coming back because we love you, obviously. I mean, when you have someone who's such a pro, uh, on set, he's such a nice person to be around, and he's really fun on camera too, and uh, gives it all he's got. You kind of want to keep him around. Um, and he said, "Yeah." And I said, "What? How do you think you're gonna do it?" And I'm like, "I don't know. We have to give you a brain transplant or something." <laughs> um, but yeah, I think uh, I can come up with a clever way to bring him back, or a clever reason. Um, and it's partially about wanting to keep working with people and wanting to keep that character who is. Uh, a good foil for other characters, especially people like Malia and Scott. And he has a lot of, he has some good stuff uh, coming up with uh, Liam as well, Theo and Liam. Uh, it's a good relationship to start this story. It's partially about having more stories to tell and partially about just loving the actor. Well, I know last year there was talk, a lot of people mentioned how that relationship with um, Dylan's character and then um, kind of where they said, you know, could this be a spin-off and continue the story through his character and through, you know, his new, you know, this pack he's kind of pulled in. Yeah. Were there ever talks of doing that or was it always, this is it, we're going to close the book and, you know, move on from there? Well, I told the network, I thought we were ending uh, the Scott Collins Styles uh, storyline at the end of season five. So I said, if you want to keep going, we'll be building uh, Liam's pack. But then we got Scott and Styles, got Dylan and Tyler to sign up for six for season six, which surprised me. Um, but uh, we have done so many episodes by then. That's eighty episodes, um, and for a lot of actors, TV actors especially, after that many episodes, they want to go do something different. Um, there's a certain repetitiveness that can happen. It's showing up every day because how much can a character change? In 80 episodes. Um, so, uh, what was your question? Yeah. Do what? Uh, I said, what was your question? Just had spin off plans. <laughs> but is that uh, ever something you did consider? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, so, my answer is yes, we considered it. But uh, the way the next 20 episodes have worked out, I think it's. Uh, um, we've got a great group of core characters and it's seeing where, where their finales all end up. They're not all in the same place. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.